Hi, my name is Karen Lobdell. I'm Director of Product Management at Integration Point. In this role, I manage the design of our supply chain compliance solution, which provides an automated tool for our clients to manage risk in their supply chain for programs like CTPAT, AEO, and PIP, among others, including areas of risk such as product safety and also corporate and social responsibility. The U.S. Customs Trade Partnership Against Terrorism Program, also known as CTPAT, is part of a multi-layer cargo enforcement strategy designed to strengthen and secure the global supply chain. It was conceived in November 2001 following the 9-11 terrorist attacks and focuses on primarily the security of imports into the United States. CTPAT is a voluntary public-private sector partnership program between the trade and U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The Security and Accountability for Every Port Act of 2006, also known as SAFE, the SAFE Act, provided a statutory framework for this program and imposes strict program oversight requirements. The program has grown to more than 11,700 certified partners spanning the gamut of the trade community including U.S. importers and exporters, highway carriers, Mexican highway carriers, rail, sea, air carriers, U.S. customs brokers, U.S. marine port authority terminal operators, U.S. freight consolidators and transportation intermediaries, and non-operating common carriers. It also has extensions into the Mexican and Canadian manufacturing segment as well. And these various entities within the supply chain account for over 52% by value of all cargo imported into the United States. When an entity joins the CTPAT program, an agreement is made to work with U.S. Customs to protect the supply chain, identify security gaps, and implement very specific security measures as well as best practices. Applicants must address a broad range of security topics and present security profiles that list their action plans to align security throughout their entire supply chain. CTPAT members are considered to be of low risk, and as a result, they can enjoy a number of benefits from U.S. Customs to assist in the facilitation of their cargo. For example, they have lower targeting scores in the automated targeting system. They may be pulled less frequently for exams of their cargoes or inspections of their cargoes, all things that can assist with facilitation of their goods. It is important to note that CTPAT is one of dozens of similar partnership programs that exist globally and fall under the umbrella of the World Customs Organization, or WCO, Safe Framework of Standards, which really is a a broad-based guideline for global AEO programs or authorized economic operator, low-risk entity programs. Many of these programs are more expansive and cover both imports as well as exports, as well as including trade compliance components versus just security of the supply chain. As these global programs continue to expand, and risks and threats to the supply chain continue to evolve over time, U.S. Customs has revisited the CTPAT program and focused on necessary adjustments to keep the program fresh and effective. Recently, U.S. Customs provided an overview of the updated CTPAT roadmap to advise the trade of pending changes. This also includes incorporating the efforts of their trusted trader pilot program that Customs has been working on since 2014. The trusted trader concept is going to combine components of both security under the CTPAT program and compliance under the importer self-assessment program. And ultimately, they look to also engage the participating government agencies such as the FDA or EPA and so forth. So when we look at the new roadmap with all these changes since 2001, and this really is the first time in years that Customs has taken a look at the program and the requirements and criteria and updated them to meet new and evolving threats that exist in the supply chain. 
So where are we now? And where are we going? In 2016, Customs began to review and refine the minimum security requirements. They engaged the trade, including the Commercial Operations Advisory Committee, or COAC, in addition to other trade associations to get input on what needed to change with the minimum security requirements. During the same time frame in 2016, they continued to work on reviewing potential benefits that could be extended beyond what exists today for trusted traders on both compliance and security. In 2017, today, we see customs looking at synthesizing the proposed minimum security criteria and working with the trade to look at the impact of implementing those new criteria. This is an ongoing discussion that's been taking place throughout the year, again, with those various trade entities, um, including COAC. And they're also looking at measuring the trusted trader benefits with pilot participants. So they have identified some and now they're measuring them to incorporate any metrics that can come out of that discussion and ensure that there's actually going to be value on both sides. As we move toward 2018, Customs will continue to quantify the cost and benefits of the program and also work on enhancing the CTPAT portal or automated system that's used on the CBP and trade side for managing the CTPAT program. This will include adding a compliance component for the trusted trader portion of the program and to prepare to implement new security requirements and criteria later in 2018. Ongoing work and dialogue continues with the participating government agencies or PGAs on mutual recognition and future implementation into the program from that perspective. Customs expects to begin a multi-year phased implementation of new minimum security criteria for the CTPAT program in the beginning of their fiscal year 2019, which for U.S. Customs will be approximately October of 2018. At the same time, they plan to launch the Trusted Trader Program officially and transition any existing importer self-assessment or ISA members into that Trusted Trader Program. So what does this mean to you? Well, for existing members of the CTPAT program, this is something to monitor as new program minimum security criteria are going to result in companies needing to revisit their security profiles, their internal controls, and their procedures to ensure they're still going to be able to meet the requirements of the program. So watch for dialogue either via webcasts or news releases from customs or through your trade associations for updates as they become available. As new risks continue to surface globally, there will be a larger focus on areas such as forced labor, cybersecurity, corporate, so corporate security from an oversight perspective, personnel, and even tapping into those areas of agriculture for those companies that are in that particular area. These are all areas that were not reflected in previous minimum security criteria, so there will be changes expected and you will likely have to touch on those areas in your new security profile. So start thinking about that now, as that is something that will definitely be servicing. Companies should also give thought to whether it will be beneficial to pursue becoming a trusted trader when that pilot becomes reality, if they're not currently an ISA member. Although the ISA program is being re-engineered, it would be worthwhile to review the current requirements to determine whether your company is positioned to take advantage when the time is right. As always, Integration Point will continue to actively monitor pending changes with the CTPAP and Trusted Trader programs to ensure that all of our automated solutions reflect the most current requirements and can meet the growing needs of the trade community from a risk assessment process, whether that be for conducting internal and external risk assessments monitoring global country and regional threats via our global trade content solution, or implementing trade compliance programs for the purposes of ISA. Thank you for listening and further updates will be coming in the future.